In this section, we are going to look at how to modify the alignment. Uh, before that, we will see how to uh, edit alignment, uh, actually change the alignment style and change the alignment label style so that you get, get a better weaving or the desired weaving you need. So I am going to select my alignment from here and go to alignment properties from here or either you can right click from here and you can go to alignment properties or in on the other hand you can go to alignment section in prospector then center line alignments and go to design center line and right click go to properties you will go to alignment properties so there are three ways you can access alignment properties so to the alignment to change the alignment style you can go to information tab proposed alignment style is the one we have actually so if you want to look at other options you can select basic and apply you will see this is white colored one and if it is existing it is like this and i will go prefer to go with offset style so that we get a better weaving of the alignment style so i'll press cape at the moment you can see for the curves you get blue color and straight sections you get uh, red color so in this is kind of a easy way to view the alignment so i will use this as my uh, alignment style so this is the alignment label so you can see they are labeled at 20 meter intervals here 0 20 40 like that so we have a tick mark here at or every 10 meter interval 0 10 20 30 likewise then if you move forward it will tell you the design speed of the alignment we are using if you are using the alignment uh, speeds design speeds on this road and the starting station it has labeled then if you go move forward further you can see this is the starting point of the curve it will give you the chain edge or the starting station of the curve and midpoint of the curve and again the end point of the curve likewise for every curve it will give you these details so to change the alignment label styles you have to select the alignment then you have to right click and go to edit alignment labels so it will give you the edit alignment labels window so to set alignment labels actually we are what we are doing is we are going to import label sets that means not one label style we will have separate label sets so, styles uh, they are compiled into a style called label sets so we will click this import label set and i will use major and minor major minor and geometry points label style now when, so once i click ok you will see this area will change so you can see now this area changed i will select or oh, i will click ok so now you can see my previous labels are now decreased to somewhat because we don't get these design speeds and so that in this alignment style so uh then if you need to set a design speed to your alignment you have to select the alignment go to alignment properties and go to the design criteria tab here you can set the design speed of your alignment if you want to so if you don't want that one you can delete it from here if you want to add more you can do it from here so then there are some things called uh, check tangency so you if you go with if you do the alignment with your with proper alignment designing you will not get this kind of uh, tangency issues so if you need to know about them please check some uh, videos on civil 3d uh, related videos on youtube or other internet resources you will see what is given by these things so if you want to know more about at this stage you can click help here so it will give you the explanation for all these things so every time if you go with civil 3d you can click help on every window so that you get uh, related help to the window you are uh, selected or the window you are working on right so i'm going to remove this design speed and click ok so that, we, that there won't be any design speeds 
associated with my alignment i press escape here now now i am going to see now we are going to see how to uh, modify this alignment so i am clicking my alignment then let us say we need to delete this curve so to do that select the alignment edit alignment geometry or geometry editor from here so you can delete anything from here delete sub entity button so you can delete this curve from here if you need to delete this line as well you can delete that so i'll right click so once i right click my label will discontinue from this point point onwards because you don't have a connection here so if you want to move this one further down here you can do that and if you want anything done here you can do that as well then again you can have a curve so let us say i am moving this towards right side and i am going to add a curve here like we did earlier right so this is my curve now i have added so many curves here so now we are going to change the radius of this curve because we don't know what is the radius this of this curve we are we are going to see what is the radius and we are going to see how to change it so i'll click this here pick sub entity so it will load a new window like a parameter window here so once you click any entity like a curve here it will give you the parameters of that curve so if you select a straight it will give the parameters of the straight in this case i am going to select this one and i am going to select edit this radius currently i cannot edit this radius so i will make this parameter constraint false so that i can edit the radius now i now this radius is 554 point six seven seven so i'll make it 550 so that we get a better we uh, better uh, radius number then i right click to accept that one so in the same way if you want to edit this one i'll go to here and i will click this curve and again this is 230.117 i'll click false and i will make it 230 so when you are making the changes don't make drastical changes like uh, this, if this is 231 you cannot make it 400 so because if you make it 400 this might go outside or we, we, this might have a major deviation so let us see this 400 so you can see it's a major deviation from the existing one so you have to make sure that you are doing minor modification then i right click so i will close this for the moment but if you want to do the edit all at once you can click here this uh, alignment grid view button so it will show you all these parameters at once so it, if you select any curve here it will highlight on the window right so here and here those curves will be highlighted so even if you select another curve it will be highlighted so this first curve here i am selecting now it is highlighting on the curve so if you need to change the radius of all these curves you can do it here now it is 100 and 230 here this is the radius column so now this one you have to unlock here then we might make it 270 and then here this is 563.95 i will make it 65 and for this one i'll make it uh, 190 so likewise you can change the radius so if you want to make this radius locked so you can lock them so that no one can edit it later straight away so i'll close this one now our alignment is done our radiuses are done so in addition to that there are some other options here you can 
uh, search and see what are these what is done by each of these options uh, and finally if you want to undo or redo anything related to the alignment creation you can use these two buttons so it will only undo or redo whatever the things you did in your alignment so that is about modification on your alignment setup